Okay, so today's gonna be another day in a life type video. A day in the life of a self employed carpenter. Okay, so I've just got the apprentice now and we are heading off to get some materials, dropping materials off to one of our project, then we go into a different job. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, Send gifts, you have to make a moat and you can't differ from what that moat is. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I guess we're in it here. <laughs> I actually wanted it to go. Okay, so we're back in the van now. Gonna go unload all the materials for the plasterers tomorrow and then we're going to our job. So yeah. Unloaded all the materials and now we are just gonna go to our job for today. So yeah, we are starting a little bit late, but he wanted us to come for 10 a.m. and that's what we are doing. We're going there for 10 a.m. So we're in the job now, in this property we are replacing all the doors, changing them out for these new doors. Now this is a bit of an awkward job because two of the door frames are non-standard door frames, meaning it's a non-standard door, so it doesn't suit standard door sizes. So the customer has gotten the closest size and I just have to adjust the doors to suit the frame. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. But first, we take the doors outside and get a work area sorted. <laughs> Tyrell then admires the beautiful garden and the fishes because he loves all nature and animals. So yeah. I wonder how deep you go. Deep what goes? Okay. Only, only as deep as the bottom. Are you sure? It doesn't go underneath the floor. Once Tyrell has stopped admiring the garden, we then crack on with the job. I start by adjusting the two doors that need reducing. To do this, I get the measurements from the door frame and transfer this to the door, taking an even amount of each side of the door. If this was a plain blank door, I would just take it off the one side, the hinge side. You'll see why in a sec. If you're ever wondering what's in these type of doors, it's literally just a type of cardboard material. And what I've had to do is take out the block of timber that's on the side that holds the hinges up. 
and I'm going to push all of this in put the block back in glue it all up and then pull it back on it's a little bit harder that side sometimes but I'll show you um, what we're going to have to do that side as well so yeah so to pull it in the most basic simple terms what I've had to do is cut down the side of the door this is the side that holds the hinges so I'll need to put the timber back in the door to do this I push the core of the door back I then plane down the timber block so it fits back in the door I glue the sides and then put it back in but I'll show you how to do all of this now So as you can see, this side you've got the lock block, just a bit of chipboard basically, and then you've got the, and then you've got cardboard on either end. So yeah, so you're not meant to take down these doors um, to this length, but it's what we had to do. It's what we had to do. So with this side, we're gonna do exactly the same. But we have a few more steps, but I'll show you how I'll do this anyway. Okay, so on the lock side, this is the extra step we have to do. So what I'm doing is basically just making a recess where the lock block is. I need to make enough room so that the timber can go back in. So there's a few ways you can do this. Right here, I'm just using an auger bit to clear it out. And this is a close up on what I'm doing. I then use a chisel to do any fine tuning.
Okay, so that one is done now. Just got the clamps on it. And yeah, so that one's done now. Just going on to the next one and Tyrell is fitting doors. So yeah, we're both making good time today to be honest. So right now I'm gonna do exactly the same process but on a different door. So here is gonna be another time lapse. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding dotted line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you. Okay, so we're first time with the Tyrell. Let's see how it goes. And I got two doors prepped. We waited for the glue to dry and came back the next day to finish off. So today we've just got five doors to fit, including the two doors that I've had to adjust. Since I've got plenty of videos on how to fit doors, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse now of me fitting these doors. Hope you enjoy.
Okay, so that job is done now. And how much did I make for that job? As you can see, it's been a while since I done that job. My beards grew out, my hairs grew out. And yeah, it's been two months and I haven't been able to go to the barbers, but we move. So how much did I make for that job? Straight price, 600 pound. I made 600 pound for that job. And that's how much I charged. But then after that, um, after paying my apprentice, two months ago he was getting paid 40 pound a day so deduct 80 pound and then i've got um tax to pay and yeah but yeah straight price 600 pound is how much i charged and yeah around about two days it took a little bit less than two days but yeah it was a nice easy job nice good job i also want to say a big thank you if you got this far into the video just I appreciate you so much and if you've got any advice any tips for me to make my videos better let me know please let me know because I don't have any friends that are content creators so I'm relying on you guys to help me make my videos better so yeah thank you and two weeks time another video is coming out if you didn't know already, I post every two weeks. I post every two weeks because a week was way too hard for me. It was way too much pressure with doing jobs, quoting jobs and invoicing and all of that type of stuff. It was way too much. So two weeks, every two weeks is what I'm doing and what I've been able to keep up with. So yeah, see you in two weeks. If you're ever wondering what's... If you're ever wondering what's... If you're ever... If you're ever wondering what's in these type of doors, it's literally just a type of cardboard material.